Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today I finally get to talk about Blue Blood. <laughs> Jesus, I literally just got this palette in the mail yesterday. <laughs> I'm filming this April 16th. I got this in the mail April 15th. I want to talk a little bit about my experience ordering this palette and getting this palette in the mail, along with my first impressions, because as I literally just got this, I haven't used it yet. So... It's actually kind of hard to open so i actually haven't used the palette yet but oh my god it's gorgeous it is beautiful and i can't wait to dig in i really want to use some of like the lighter matte blues and there's this one particular shimmer that i'm pretty excited about so i thought it'd be fun to talk about my experience and do a quick first look and first impression eventually i will get to a full review of this palette honestly at this point i'm not in a huge rush because the palette's already sold out and it took them over two weeks to get the palette to me <laughs> So I literally purchased this palette like the minute it came out. It released March 29th. It was 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time when it released. I was working from home that day. I set my alarm. I was on the website. I checked out. I had my palette. I also purchased a full-size lipstick. I used a mini of this one up and I really liked it. So I wanted to get the full size. This is in the shade Celebrity. Nope. This is in the shade Birthday Suit. It's so very pretty. I'm actually wearing it with a gloss on top. This gloss is from Becca. This is the Glow Gloss. Oh, I have no idea what shade it's in. Oh, well, it's a, it's a Glow Gloss. <laughs> but I'm wearing that today. So I ordered the palette and this lipstick. I checked out 1.05 p.m. Paid via PayPal. Did the whole shebang. Got my confirmation email. We were good, apparently. Now, I understand the whole situation with uh, Jeffrey's warehouse being compromised, and honestly, like, I think he probably should have pushed back the release of this palette if they weren't prepared to handle the purchases. That might sound a little bit harsh, but, like, everyone would have still bought the palette. The palette still would have sold out. You just would have been a little bit more prepared to handle the traffic. I honestly can't tell if like I'm just being unrealistic, but after purchasing my palette and checking out at 105, I kind of just thought I would get the palette within their shipping specifications. <laughs> like I kind of thought like I would be part of the first batch that got shipped out because I checked out so early. Now I have no idea how their online ordering system works. I know for um, when I worked in retail and we had to do online orders, we always printed them out by date and by time. So if you placed an order at XYZ and it was earlier than this order, this one got done first. So I think that's kind of what's informing my opinion on this. But I kind of thought that mine would be among at least one of the first few batches to go out right? But uh, a whole week went by. I saw so many people that bought their palettes also on release day getting their palettes. And I'm like, oh, okay, that's cool. I mean, sure. I'm sure mine's on the way, but I hadn't gotten a, a processing email and I hadn't got a shipping email yet. So a week and a half after I ordered, so many people are getting their palettes. So many videos are going up. I'm trying to avoid those so I can do like my own review of the product. And I'm like, why hasn't mine shipped? So uh, I didn't send an email or do anything. I went on Twitter and I just kind of tweeted. So it's been just about two weeks, still haven't gotten my Blue Blood palette. I'm really questioning ever buying anything directly from the website again, because I've heard so many people say like, you know, other websites are better. Even if you get it from Morphe, at least their shipping's a little bit better. And someone responded to my tweet and said, yeah, I just checked my spam folder and I got a sorry not sorry update email saying anyone else who ordered on the release day, we're going to try our best to ship them out this weekend. This was two weeks after the release day. And I was like, oh, I wonder if I got that email. Checked my spam folder, also had that email. So, yeah, I feel like if they had made the email more of an order update, because whenever I get an order update, it goes directly to one of my folders. Because of the... I guess they mass spam that to anyone who had ordered a palette who hadn't gotten it yet. That's why it went to spam. Anyway, I would I never would have known that unless I had gone on Twitter and like talked about it. So anyway, I got that email last week. So that was about two weeks in. I didn't get the palette until tax day. So April 15th, it was sitting on my doorstep. So a full almost two and a half weeks 
after I had ordered it. And I, the thing that gets me is like you have to pay for shipping from their website. So I had to pay an extra six, seven for standard shipping. And standard shipping is five to seven business days. Yeah. So I'm not going to be buying from his website anymore. I think it's ludicrous. <laughs> All that out of the way. Finally got the palette. Um, I'm glad I was able to get it because it is sold out now and no one knows like when it's actually going to be restocked or come back. So let's get into the palette itself because I feel like I've gone on a, a bit of a tangent. <laughs> Talking first about the unit carton, I actually really liked the unit carton here. So this is actually the box that it came in. So this is the box. It's actually pretty nicely made. It's got all of the ingredients and everything on the back. And then you opened it up and the palette was on the inside right there. This is actually a cute little box and I, I'm going to keep it <laughs> and like use it for stuff. I don't know where I'm going to put it. I don't know what I'm going to put in it, but it's not cardboard. It's like, like thick construction paper. Uh, but I really like this box. I thought it was a very cute touch and I liked it. So within the box, you actually get the palette. So this is the palette. I will say, uh, I don't know if it's because it's brand new and I just haven't broken it in yet. It's very hard to get this open. <laughs> so let's, okay. It's fully closed. You get, I love this little detail right here. So trying to open this up. There. I actually like whenever I'm not on camera, I'm like doing this, trying to open it up. But like I said, I don't know if that's just because it's new and it hasn't like maybe I just need to keep opening it. I don't know. Or if that's just the packaging and the way it is. Blood sugar, definitely not that difficult to open. This one had a lot more difficulty with it. And this is the palette. I gotta say, I love the packaging and the design. Me, I'm a bit morbid. I love the fact that this is based off of kind of like a coffin. It's also Tiffany blue and it's, uh, I love the blue and the white and the inside, the details are just astonishing. It's honestly gorgeous. So I'm just gonna do one look today just to first get my fingers wet and test this out. Like I said, I was trying to avoid all reviews on this and I didn't quite do that. I have heard through the grapevine that A, these stain like hell, and B, that there's an incredible amount of fallout. So going into a normal review, I probably wouldn't know that information if I had tried this a little bit earlier, but knowing that, I'm going to try and take just a little bit of a precaution, but I'm only going to do it on one side of my face. We can see if it makes a difference. And by that, I mean, I'm just going to layer a little bit of translucent powder under my eye to catch whether or not there may be fallout. So I have my Cody Airspun powder. I'm just going to add a bit of a thick under eye layer on this side. There. So that should catch any and all fallout that may happen. There isn't a whole lot really I can do to prevent staining if it does stain other than prime my eyes. I primed my eyes the way I've been doing every day for the past like four months. I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and I've just been setting it with the face powder that I'm currently using. There is like a beige powder I can use to set my primer but I didn't want to dig into the palette until I began the look so I did not use that to set the primer. Okay so I really want to try out this shimmer shade Crystal Flesh right here all over the lid and I think for the rest of the look I really want to go in with the shades I'm cold deceased and blue blood I'll also just real quick throw up a picture of the swatches all over my arm for the most part when I do these first impression swatches I don't use primer I don't use anything to set it I really just want to see one swatch on my hand on my arm and see how it turns out okay so before i dust this off and start doing my lower lash line i wanted to zoom in and just show you what we're working with so i did get a significant amount of fallout over here I did get quite a little bit over here as well. So we're gonna try and brush this away. So first I'm gonna try just a clean dual fiber brush. So 
so the powder under the eye worked really well on this side i'm gonna try a different brush because there is just a little bit left down here i'm gonna see if i can get it up with just a little bit more of a dense brush So I would say like 90% of it is gone. I'm just seeing just a little bit down here, but it's not really like super noticeable. Okay, so this is the first look that I came up with blood, I keep calling it blood sugar, with blue blood and meh, I feel okay about it. I wasn't really impressed by the pigmentation of I'm Cold, that first light shade. Uh, I feel like it did kind of blend away to almost nothing, so I ended up bringing the next darker shade, the shade Blue Blood. A little bit further into my crease but i love the shimmer shade all over my lid i love that deep blue on the outside i just got mascara down there awesome i'm gonna wait till that dries and clean it up yeah overall i'm feeling like meh about it so far that being said i only tested out five shades i can't really say a whole lot considering how many shades are in this palette but that's just my first impression. I feel like also I'm taking into consideration the whole shipping process too. So take that as you will. I will be coming out with another video soon with a full review of, you know, three looks, one palette, the whole shebang. So make sure if you're not already to subscribe if you want to catch that when it comes out. Let me know down below if you were able to snag Blue Blood and if yours was shipped in a similar manner or if you got yours right away or if you purchased it from a different website. Like I'm really not going to buy it from the website anymore. I'm probably going to try going through Beauty Bay. I think that's the consensus is that it's a lot better. Thank you guys so much for watching and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.